Ah, uh, let's see. Too many Spider Queen. Oh my god! Tassadar Brightwing? This is an amazing team for me. Wow. If I can't win with Illidan in a setup like this, where there's no warriors, therefore I'm kind of like a surrogate warrior, a replacement, with double support, with a traditional double support, not something like Morales and Taranda, which is kind of weird, but the actual designed double support, Tassadar Brightwing, which is very common when it's not Tassadar Rhaegar. It's just crazy. Cool. If I can't win this one, we probably can never win with Illidan. I think Zero Death Illidan game coming up. If I just stay bot lane and I play it safe. Nice. Now, uh, Sergeant Hammer is uh, S. If you're going to talk about names, you should say Bama is her name. But we don't go use all the alternative titles. We use the official Heroes of the Storm names. My supporter down there. I'll get uh, classical build emulation. I alone must act. Any more things you'd like to say to jinx yourself? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was enough. I feel only hatred. At last. All you need to do is look on the minimap a lot. I claim your wretched life. So he can fly back in, I'll just tap. Looking forward to the Morales quick match. That'll be fun. That'll be hard, dude. We know why he's standing in that bush, right? There's Toxic Nest there. We know that, so. Hardly a challenge. I don't see any of the opponents on the map. There is a time trap for us here. That helps. But it's not safe for me to go after Falstaff. Is that all? Okay, now I see them. Jaina looking to gank me. Instead, we'll be the one that gets ganked. I'll get the uh, friend or foe now. Rubble, 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 rubble. I'll pay what I have now. I think I feel like we're losing some soak. No, we're not. It's one one. That's why. That's why we're behind. Good evening to you, Tsingis. A 
Who left? Brightwing. Man. Yeah, he's back. Nice. At last. Can you explain how to use quick cast? This yeah, um, if you have quick cast on, every time you hover your mouse somewhere, that will be the destination of whatever button you click. So it's like you never have to press left click. Basically what quick cast does is a left click in the same location as you're pointing when you cast a spell. I get reflexive block. And it is really just better and faster, but it is not as good if you don't know the exact range of your abilities. So use it after you get used to a character well enough to know the, the range of their abilities. I will go soak middle. Oh. Oops. Damn it. Should probably look at where I am. Not a zero death game. I mean, was there anyone honestly who believed that? <laughs> wow! Nice one. Skelly. I don't even have top damage, damn it. Can you explain the build? Yeah man, um, hold on for a second. Immolation at level 1, you take it because it's the best wave clear. And it does damage even if you're silenced or um, slowed or stunned or anything. All the things that make people want to counter Illidan with, all the things that people want to counter Illidan with, Are more okay because of it. Well done. Uh, the second one, which is uh, friend or foe, helps you to uh, escape when you've dived a little bit too deep and it is uh, one of two ways well one of three ways that a metamorphosis editing can get away with there's metamorphosis itself there is um, sweeping strike and now you also have the dive it also increases the range in general making you more sticky on opponents and making you able to use allies more easily to uh, escape uh, the hunt is uh, actually getting a higher win rate than metamorphosis so it's really worth thinking about just getting the hunt instead As for level 7, it's reflexive block. It's really too good not to take. Well Two done. attacks by 75% every time you use uh, dive. Good work. Let's keep it up. The others are reliant upon attacking with either basic abilities or autos, which means this is the kind of time where Illidan is doing win more. Well done. Uh, wh oh my god. Yeah, when Illidan is doing attacks, he generally is in a great shape. So instead you get Reflexive Block, which is a passive defender. Which is what the Illidan build with First Aid and Stone Skin used to revolve around anyway. It's just a continuance of that. 
So it's all about mitigating the lack of effect you have when you get stunned, which you're sure to get. Because you know the not stun is too good. I'm gonna take six cents now, which helps you against mages. Burst is one of Illidan's, especially burst spell damage is one of Illidan's best counters. <laughs> Worth. Uh, same with six cents. You use evasion, you take next ability, you take less ability damage. This one is like uh, you need to attack with sweeping strike, so it's a conditional that is uh, aggressive in nature. This one is also a conditional aggressive in nature. You must hit a hero. It's only six cents that works always. Also when you're running away. So. Uh, all the abilities that are part of the standard build are, are passive protection. At level 16 you get basically anything, but Fiery Brand is a conditional that forces you to attack the same target four times. That is not an attractive way to play Illidan. You only take it if uh, you don't want to think about anything else. You just want it to do its work and that's it. Marked for Death is an amazing extra bonus damage that you can activate far more often than once every 10 seconds because of his cooldown resets. Just look at this, even for creeping. Boom. Wait, did I take it yet? No, I'm not level 16 yet. But yeah, anyway, it's really great. And this one is a conditional that forces you to stack up on a kind of quest that will do massive bonus damage for a long time. It's, it's, it's really crazy. So you get either Mark for Death or Blades of Azanoth, and this is uh, comp dependent. Hello. So easy dodge. I knew he's gonna dust. Ob uh, I mean, gust obviously. Do I jump in? Nah. Uh, I'll get marked for death. So, what? One of the cool things about meta is dodging skill shots. Uh, but the hunt, obviously, more damage, it provides a stun. This kind of comp is really unfair because Illidan is too oppressive with double support. And they get single support, Karazim, and no tank. Oh. Oh man. So easy, easy victory. Uh, if you do want a stomp quick match, just double Q or triple Q, Illidan, Brightwing, Illidan, Tass, or Illidan, Brightwing, Tass. It's crazy. You, chances are no warrior enters the comp and it's just too hard for the opponent that was a real quick match only zero deaths grubby i wish <laughs> i do have top damage but that's because i get all the love of the supports they basically become shield and heal bots they can play as well or poor as they like but as long as they just shield it then it's going to be crazy i can play as well as poor as i like as well the comp was just tilted in our favor still uh you do have to actually press the buttons to play the game. No matter how self-deprecating. So I press buttons and we won. Occasionally dive into the enemy core against three opponents. But that's fine. Converging force. Does it do two times damage if you hit him a little to the side? As was ordained. Ah. Okay. I understand. Let me try that. Choose a talent. A gift from the high heavens. Bonus damage. Yes. Yes, it does, Sonic Storm. 
That's a great question. So if you push someone into the inner circle within a very short distance of them not being in it and then they go into it, yes, you get the bonus damage from Sacred Sweep. Sonic Storm 21, well done.